Hello guys, today we learn customer authentication filters in sp.net mbc5. We have requirement Visual Studio 2015 mbc5 version and SQL Server 2012. We know that there is five filter like authentication filters, authorization filters, action filters, real filter, exception filter. Microsoft introduced authentication filters in MBC5 version. Authentication filters run before any other filters or action method. Authentication confirms you are a valid or invalid user. These filters implement the I authentication filter interface and I action attribute filter base class. Need to some follow steps like make a home controller and add a view for this controller second step add your dotted it data model add and make another controller login controller and add a view for this controller and make some text boxes for login user add in password and write some code and use of action filter attribute i action filters in custom authentication let us see how can we achieve the custom authentication filters in sv.net mbg file. Open Visual Studio, go to File, New, Project, Name, put here, mbc filter, click on, take MPT mbc web api and click on ok you can see visual studio has been opened now i have to follow one by one steps which i have said earlier like go to controller add new controller and mbc5 controller empty click on add and put here home control now you can see home controller is created now add a index for this add view index click on use a layout page click and add home page now our second step is add a edgy.net entry data model go to model click on add button new item code sorry data edu.net data model click on add you have to join from database next take a new connection put here i have to put here server name click sql server put here password and choose a database like i have to choose sample data and click ok button here I have see sample entities will be created. Entity framework 6.0 and you can see a table. Click on table now or table will be users. Users and click finish. So you can see here users property will be created and also you can see users and their public property like user id username and password now i have to go next step means i have to create a login controller click controllers add controllers and put name of the controller is login click on add so you can see here login Control will be created now. I have to create sorry now. I have to create view for this controller login and click on add. So you see here login index page is created. Now I have to put here some text boxes and there some code. So I have already created. So let us see. So you can see. 
now I have to put here name space dot equals now you can see how the form we have to write here at the data using HTML begin form here index now that is login form method dot post or uh, here that is a login controller name here is a method name now there is two text box username at the rate of html text box m equal to m dot username lambda expression and put here user password at the rate of html dot password for m equal to m dot password that is lambda expression for uh, binding strong binding and i have simply put one submit button type equal to submit and value equal to submit now i have to write to check whether it's a valid user or not so i have to write on the uh, now go to the login controller and write the code for the checking the credential so copy this and post and put here method http post so see here write user object means user class which have already created you can see on this user so go here make object and import the namespace now here sample db entities full db sample entities i put lambda expression to check whether it is valid you are not so i have write where result equal to db dot user dot select x equal greater x dot username equal to object user dot username that come from the text boxes same way and x dot password equal to object dot password which come from the text boxes of view and take here dot first dot default value so if result equal to true it give the true or false so if result equal to true put the value in the sessions and redirect to the home page if the value is not true if user is not valid so simply i have right here model state dot add model error invalid username and password return view object so also we have right to create a models a view for the error page so then our second step will be created now i have to write custom authentications to check it so make a filters folders put their filters and a class so for class we have can check already we have run write down the query to put class name custom authentication so go to filters and add class class and put class name custom authentication and click on add button you can see custom authentication class will be created now i have to inherit means action filter attribute and i action attribute so put here this and inherit the properties of action action filter attribute and i action filter attribute now i have to add the name space for web.mbc and also you can put web.http filters so i have put here now i have to write the code like unauthentication i have to put two code let us first put and understand it let us see on authentication authentication context filter context have chosen if string is null or empty and you are taking here convert to string filter context the http context process on user id agar empty ho if it is empty then you have write here filter context result equal to new http unauthorized result 
on this action we have take one uh, one more method on authentication challenge on authentication challenge context make object filter context then then filter context dot result equal to null or filter result is http unauthorized then we can put here filter context or result equal to new view result and put here view name equal to error so i have put here view name equal to error then you have to must define the view for the error page for displaying the error go to share page at view and put the view name header and click on add and you can write some code here now you can see that you have created controller home controller and there is login controllers and also one more thing we have created like custom authentication and take a in inheritance of action in property of action filter attribute i authentication filters and take a method name on authentication and on authentication challenge and check whether the request has valid or not and depend upon it we can see show the error message now also we have created one model and for model there is properties tables user and their properties here so now you can run the application and check whether we get the final things or not so run the application you can see your home page is displaying now but it should not be go to first login page you have created login put username password click on submit and it will be directed to home page so you can see that before login and after login it will go will go home page but it should be only login home page will be displayed it means uh authentication filter is not used in home controller so go to home controllers and put here you can put on custom authentication on controller base or method base so first i have to put here controller base inherit the name space so now i put here in home controller i have putting custom authentication so without login that page will not be key. showing it will go for go on error page after login only we can see the home controller view so run the application and see the result you can see here error occur please try later means our home controller cannot be displayed and redirected to error page now go to the login page and put here username and password what you have write in database and click on submit button so you can see here home page will be displayed here after only the making custom authentication so that's way we achieve the custom authentication in sv.net mgc